Okay, so get started here in just a second. Okay, I think I got everything. Can you see the PowerPoint? Okay. All right, we'll get started for today. So, Buju, uh, welcome to Anishinaabe Mwen Part 5. Um, we're going to be talking about making questions and using B form as well as C form in today's lesson. So, if you don't know us already, my name is Carissa Niganigabwik. Um, I'm from Manitou Rapids, and I am the Gawichitu Nishinaabe Moin coordinator for the Nishinaabe, Do Nishinaabe Moda program. And Shannon is the Nishinaabe Moda manager. You can see her over there. So last time we were working together, um, we talked about VTAs and how to use them in their most basic forms. Um, we talked about using gi and we to indicate past and future tense. We talked about adding animate nouns to VTA sentences as well as the order of sentences. So if you missed that one, the video is up on our YouTube and on our website as well as all the resources. So today we're going to talk a little bit um, about asking yes or no questions, so very basic questions that just expect a yes or no answer. Uh, we're going to go into all of the verb types with B-form conjugations, abbreviated versions, because we don't have time for all of them and I don't want to overwhelm anyone who's just starting. Um, then we're going to use the five A's instead of the five W's and C-form to ask interrogative questions. And then we're going to do our feedback form. So quick review on animate and inanimate nouns. It can be singular or plural. And then our four verb forms, VIIs, VAIs, VTIs, and VTAs. So if you're looking for more in-depth information on those and you maybe missed our last lesson, each one, each one of these verb forms has its own lesson um, and you can find all the information on our website. And a quick review. So we've done some um, use of tense in the past, uh, mostly just gi and we. So today we're gonna use a couple more um, here and there because we are using B and C form. We're gonna need them here and there. So if you don't have that one, um, it's available to print out on the website from the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so. Probably the easiest way to ask a question in the language is to use enough. And it's just um, a question prompt that's gonna get you a yes or no answer. So you're gonna use enough when the preceding word ends in a consonant, and then you would shorten it to na when the preceding word ends in a vowel. Um, you can only put enough or na in the second position of the sentence. It always has to be the second word. It is very rare that it won't be the second word. I think I've heard it once and it was from a fluent speaker where it wasn't the second word. Okay, so stick with the rule and then look for the exceptions. So some examples of how to use it. Okay, so good pun enough. So good pun enough. Is it snowing? Okay, so that's a simple question. You could pair it with other terms for the weather. Right. Um, give me one na. Is it is it raining? Shate na. Is it hot? Okay, so you can mix it up. That's an example of using it with a vii. Um, if you want to use it with a vai, it's the same. So manendam means she or he is sad. So manendam na. Is she or he sad? Manendam na. Is she or he sad? 
You can use it with a VTI. Um, so VTIs are a person affecting an inanimate object, right? An animate subject affects an inanimate object. So in this case, did you drop the plate? Okay, so you is the subject. What you're doing, you're dropping it. And onagon is the plate. So you can see that we actually put the plate first. Onagon, onagon and na gigi pungisidun. Onagon and na gigi pungisidun. So plate, question mark, gi, you, gi, past tense, pungisidun. So this b changed into a p, pungisidun, drop. Okay. Naganuna gigi pungisadun. Did you drop the plate? Um, you could do it the other way as well, but this is the more common way is to put the noun first. Okay, and then this one. Are you still mad at your brother? Geabe is a particle that means still. Geabe. Geabe na. Ginishkenama. So Giabe is still. Nut is the question mark. Nishkenim is the verb, means be mad at him or her. Get a, okay, you to him, VTA conjugation. Ginishkenama, Gisaye, your brother. Giabe na, Ginishkenama, Gisaye. Are you so mad at your brother? You could change that out for any person in your family though. <laughs> okay. So that's the really uh, a basic way to do a na or na. Okay. So you'll notice um, when I'm talking about using a na or na, this verb ends in an n, so we use inna. And then this verb ends in a vowel, sorry, this particle ends in a vowel, so you would use na. It's the same word, there's no difference. If you did put an I there, it's not like it would be wrong, okay? But that's just to make it flow better. I'm gonna pause, does anybody have any questions about that? Let's see in the chat, there is. can't see my chat for some reason. If you have questions, you can just unmute yourself at any time. Um, so that's really basic. Um, even if you if you have like the printed conjugation pieces that we've been doing, make yourself a little in a question marker and throw it in there and start making questions as well. Okay, so we're gonna move into B form conjugations. So we, what we've been doing to this point is A form or independent conjugations. Now we're doing B form, which is considered dependent. So these, um, when you use these conjugations, it cannot stand alone. You have to have an A form phrase with the B form or some kind of introductor or introducer, sorry. Okay, so, um, VIIB form doesn't change between the singular and the plural. It's based on the context, right? So you know if you're gesturing to one thing or two things based on what's happening in the conversation. So uh, I'm using misqua as the example here. Misquag, when it's red. Okay, so you wouldn't go up to somebody and say, when it's red, right? They're not gonna know what you're talking about. You're like, when what's red, okay? So you could do it if somebody asked you a question and you could say, like somebody's talking about the light. When are you gonna go? Or when are you gonna stop? I guess you don't wanna go on the red light. When are you gonna stop, Miss Wog, when it's red? Okay, you could answer a question in this way based on the context. But if you just walked up to somebody and said Miss Wog as a way to start a conversation, they're gonna think you're a little crazy. Okay, so that's the positive form. And then the negative form, misquasinok, misquasinok, when it's not red, misquasinok. Okay. 
Um, for this one, we're using a gaussin, which means it is small. Okay, a gaussing, a gaussing, a gaussin zanuk, gaussin zanuk. So when it's small, when it's not small. Okay, these aren't complete sentences. You have to pair it with something. When your verb ends in a D, you're going to drop the D off the end of the verb. Okay. So originally it was Mesquamagut. Now it's Mesquamagok. Okay. Again, Mesquamagut is just, it is red as well. Mesquamagok, when it's red. Mesquamagasinok, when it's not red. Mesquamagok. Mesquamagasinok. Okay. So VIIs are pretty simple because really you've only got six, right? It's those six conjugated forms that you have to worry about and they're basically the same thing. Okay, so you add a G or a K, Sinuk or Sinuk. Okay. So that's a VII. VAI, B form conjugation. So it's the same thing. These can't be um, just standalone sentences. You have to put them with something. So I'm using Namatabe as our verb. So Namatabeyan, Namatabeyan, when I'm sitting. Uh, it could be when, if, that. Okay, I just use when because it's easier. So I could say Namatabeyan, Namatabeyan, when I'm not sitting. And some people would say depending where you're from. We say here. So when you're sitting, when you're not sitting, when she's sitting, when she's not sitting, when they are sitting, when they're not sitting. Okay, so those, um, this is an abbreviated form, right? We only have the four people instead of the full seven because these are the four really common ones that you're going to see. Um, if you want to see all of them, again, I would encourage you to visit uh, Valentine's Grammar, which we linked last time. Um, if your verb ends in an N, like Jingishin, you would use these ones. Okay, Jingishinan. When I lie down, Jingishin Zawan, when you lie down, or sorry, when I don't lie down, Jingishinan, and you want to be careful on these endings, right? On and un, they really make a difference. Jingishinan, when you lie down, Jingishin Zawan, okay, when you don't lie down. Jingishin, when she lies down, she can get shin zig when she doesn't lie down. She can get shin nawad when they lie down. She can get shin zigwa when they don't lie down. Uh, for this one, we use min wendum. Uh, the only difference here is on the negatives, the m's change to n's on the root verb. So min wendaman. Minwendan Ziwan, Ziwan, sorry. Minwendaman, Minwendan Ziwan. Minwendam, Minwendan Zig. Minwendam Awad, Minwendan Zigwa. So those are the B forms for BAIs. VTI, B form, is actually super similar to BAIs, which can make it a little easier for you. Um, so when a verb ends in AN, N changes to M on the asterisk ones. So in, the verb is pick it to none. So pick it up, or sorry, set it down. <laughs> pick it to none. Uh, when I pick it up. 
We get the nunzi one when I don't pick it up. We get the naman. We get the naman when you pick it up. We get the nunzi one when you don't pick it up. We get the nun. So you notice this one doesn't change to an M. We get the nun when she picks it up. We get the nun zig when she doesn't pick it up. We get the na. We get the nun wad when they pick it up. We get the nun zigwa when they don't pick it up. When the verb ends in un or in, you use these ones. And you're going to notice that the N drops from all of these verbs. Okay, so go jitun, try it, is the verb. Go jitu yan, when I try it. Go jitu suan, when I don't try it. Go jitu in, when you try it. Go jitu suan, when you don't try it. Go jitu, when she tries it. Go jitu sig, when she doesn't try it. Go to two wad when they try it. Go to two sigwa when they don't try it. Okay. Those are the VTI ones. Again, this is an abbreviated version. All of them aren't here. And then VTAs, so B form conjugations. Um, for VTAs, do follow a pattern. Um, it's hard to see sometimes, especially when it's just an abbreviated version, but if you had the full version, you would be able to see the patterns that are happening between all of them. So I'm using joinum as our verb. Shawinamian, when you love me. Joinamisuan, when you don't love me. Joinaminan, when I love you. Joanna Missanoon, oh sorry, Joanna Missanoon on when you don't, or sorry, when I don't love you. So I to him or them, and then she or them back to me. So Joanna Muck, Joanna Magua, uh, Joanna Masik, Joanna Missigua, and then back to me, Joanna Mid. Joanna Mawad, Joanna Misigwa. Um, you to him or them. So you to him or them, Joanna Mud, Joanna Madwa, Joanna Mossy Wood, Joanna Mossy Dwa. Sorry, Joanna Ma. Joanna Masa Wad Dwa. That one's hard to say. <laughs> Joanna Mick. So back the other way. Joanna Mick. Joanna McQua. Joanna Missino. Joanna Missino Qua. Just remembering these are all the positive ones and the negative ones are over here. So him to fourth person. So I'm having a conversation with somebody. Um, so I'm first person. I'm having a conversation with somebody. So that's, I'm talking to you, second person, about three and four. So him is third and fourth is whoever they're talking to, okay? Or whoever they love. So he loves them or, sorry, he loves him or her. So Joanne and Maude, Joanna ma sig. Joanna ma god. Joanna ma go sig. And then if it's plural, they're talking to more than one person. Okay. They love the fourth person. Joanna ma wad. Joanna ma sigwa. And the other way, Joanna ma go nid. Joanna ma go sigwa. I know that's like a lot of conjugations to just throw at you guys, um, but you're gonna be able to pick out which ones you use the most often. VTAs um, and VAIs I find are probably more common with asking questions. 
um, and sometimes VTIs. VIIs, not so much. So moving into the five A's. So in English, we have the five W's. In English, in not everyone, we've got the five A's. So awainen is who? Awainen. Anin is what? Or wagonen is also what? It is a shortened form of awagonen, which actually starts with an A too. And then for where, we have ande or animde. Ande is more common, aninde um, is more specific. Okay, so it's more emphatic. You're wanting where exactly did you put something? Um, you want to be really specific with that one. So you want whoever's answering you to be specific with that one. Uh, anin p when? And then anindash is why, which is also shortened to anish. Okay, they're both right, anindash or anish. And then the other thing you need to know um, when you're asking these interrogative questions is that whatever verb you put with it is gonna turn from B form into C form. So you need to know these um, initial vowel changes because that's what turns it into C form. So A and I turn into E, double A turns into aya. E turns into aye, double I turns into a, O turns into we, and double O turns into wa. So if you had um, a verb, um, and it's not if the verb starts with a vowel, it's just the first vowel in any word. Okay, so like in the that first A would turn into an E. Um, if it was bizon, that first I would turn into an E. Okay. And we'll see some examples of that. So I'm going to go through each of the question forms. If you guys have a question at any time, just stop me, okay? Because I know this can get confusing. Okay, so we'll start with Awainen. Awainen, Damon Patud. Who is the one running? So you can see that we've taken the word, verb bimipatu, okay? Changed that first vowel and added our D ending for she or he. So there's somebody running by, who is that one running? Away in bimipatu is running, okay? Oops, why did I pluralize this? That's not supposed to be plural. <laughs> Changed the wrong one. Um, let me fix that real quick for you guys. This one's supposed to be plural. Okay, that's better. So past tense, if you add a tense on, because it goes in front of the verb, it's now gonna be the, the first vowel that changes. Awenen gaba mipitud. Awenen gaba mipitud. Who was the one running? So they ran by already, who was the one running? Okay. Um, Awainen also does this thing where it pluralizes if the verb is pluralized. So because we're using the they ending, wad, name it to be wad, Awainen nug is the uh, plural Awainen. Awainen nug, name it to be wad. Who are the ones sitting? So you see a group of people sitting over there and you ask your friend, Okay, who are the ones sitting? Uh, and then if you need to pass tense, It's not supposed to be close. There we go. <laughs> Just fixing it as I go. <laughs> So um, those are VAIs, right? Bumipatu and Namatabe are VAI verbs. So if you want to use a VTA, Awenen Galabamud, who did you see? Okay, so Wabam is the verb, Wabam, see him or her. Uh, ud 
is the VTA ending for you to him or her. So one person. Elena and Galabamut, who did you see? Elena and Galabamut. You want to pluralize it. Elena and Galabamudwa. Okay, so a dwa is the they ending, you to them. So in English, the sentence is the same, right? Who did you see? There's no singular or plural indicated. Um, but when you go into Nishnabim, when that plural is indicated. And so you either saw one person or you saw more than one person. Sometimes I think that's why um, we ask people when we're calling them, who's all over there? Right? That's something that we do as Anishinaabe people sometimes. Who's all over there? We don't just say who's there, right? Because there might be more than one person there. And I think it translates from our language. So that's Oenen. Uh, next, we have Anin or Wegonen. They both mean what? Um, as you are learning, you're going to learn which ones to use where. Um, they pretty much have the same connotation, but sometimes one or the other just sounds better. Okay? Um, so, Ani Nishichigain. Ani Nishichigain. So, Ijichige with an I is the verb. Ijichige. I changes to E, and Yin is the ending for you. A on a VAI, on English Chicken. So that's what are you doing? On English Chicken. Past tense. Okay, we've got past tense in here. On English Chicken. That should not be. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> that should be an I. Okay. On English Chicken. What did I do? <laughs> okay, somebody's a cute. Hey, what are you doing? Ani gajitgayan, what did I do? And so that's one way you could use it. Again, you could change this ending, ani gajitgayan, put a D on there instead of yawn. What did she do? Ani gajitgayan, what did you do? Okay, so you can just change that ending and it changes the person. Wegonen wejitud. Wegonen wejitud. So the verb here is ojitun. Okay, ojitun, which means she or he is making something. So o changes to w e, and then the d is the she or he ending. Wegonen wejitud. What is she or he making? If you want to try uh, a VTA. Uh, or sorry, this is a BTI. Wegonen gawab and demuad. Wegonen gawab and demuad. So what did they see? So the verb is wabendun. Wabendun. Past tense, ga, change conjunct, double I to double A. Wabendun, muad is the they ending. Wegonen gawab and demuad. So what did they see? So that's Anin or Wegonin. Um, onde and Aninde are where. So I just used Onde because um, that's what I hear the most. So depending where you're from, um, there is a rule for this. When I went to school in Minnesota, I learned this rule. And I just found out it doesn't apply here where I'm from. Okay, so, but I'm going to give you the rule so that you know it in case it does apply. The best way to find out is by asking speakers in your area if they would use ga or gi in a certain sentence. So you could ask them where did she, to translate, where did she put it? And if they use ga or gi, that's going to be telling. Okay, so I asked a bunch of speakers in our area today and they all used ga. So on de ga tood, on atud, where did she put it? So atun is the verb, which is a VTI, where she or he puts it somewhere in a certain place. On atud, 
Where did she put it? Andegar Nundawian. So Nundao is here, him or her, which is uh, VTA. Andegar Nundawian, where did you hear me? So maybe you're out in the bush with someone and they said, oh, I heard you over there. And you're like, oh, where did you hear me? Andegar Nundawian. Hmm. Uh, where is she going? This is a common one. Andejad. Andejad. Okay, so Ija is the verb, the D ending for she or he, and change conjunct um, I to E. Okay. Andewenjian. Andewenjian, where are you from? Some people might say Andewenjibain. Okay, so it just depends where you're from, how you say it. Andi Wenjian. Uh, the verb is onji. O changes to W E, and yin is the ending for you. Okay, so um, if you are from one of the areas, sometimes their onde and onindi have an exception, and it stays in B form. It doesn't change to C form, so you wouldn't do that first vowel change. Um, unless it contains a relative root. Um, these are the relative roots. So if we look at these sentences, on de guillotude, this one doesn't have a relative root in it. Okay, it doesn't match with any of these. On de guinundawian also doesn't have a relative root in it, so it would stay as gi instead of changing to ga. On de ijad, so ija has um, iji in it. Okay. Oh, wait, <laughs> has one of these in it. Can't really remember which one right now. This is way back for me. Okay. So ondi wenjian has onje in it. Okay, has that root for ond in it. So that one would change. Um, so if you're from one of those areas, you need to know that rule. If you're from right here in Treaty 3, you don't really need to know it. But it's just something that's interesting to know if you need it. Or if you see it somewhere when you're reading and you're like, hmm, why didn't they change that one? That's why. Okay. And then Anina P for when. Uh, Anina P Maya Jipong. When will it start to snow? So Anina P is the when. Maji pun is the verb. Double A changes to aya. So mayaji pun. That G is the conjunct. Anina P mayaji pun. When will it start to snow? Um, next one. Anina P ga budgetu wad. Anina P ga budgetu wad. When did they use it? So the verb is a budgetun. Okay, gi past tense changed to ga. And the ending for they. Anina p ge shamian. When are you gonna feed me? Anina p ge shamian. So the verb is a sham, which is a VTA, feed him or her. Ge is future tense. Um, for change conjunct, gay. And then yun, yun is the you to me uh, before ending. Anina pi gay shamian. That's a handy one to have. You're out visiting. <laughs> okay, and then the fifth one, anindash. Um, so anindash is usually seen um, with the prefix onji following it um, on the verb, okay? Um, but it can also be asked in a variety of ways. So it's not always anindash. It might be aninanda, it might be anigaye. So there's different ways to use it. So we'll just focus on anindash wenji. Okay, so because it's onji, right? That O changes to a W-E. Anindash wenji ozawag. Anin dashwenji ozawag. Why is it yellow? Okay, so that's an example with a VII. 
Aninda Swanji Manindaman. Aninda Swanji Manindaman. Why are you sad? So Manindam is the verb, and an is the you ending. Aninda Swanji Manindaman. Next one. Aninda Swanji Goji Tusik. So I threw a, a negative ending on this one so we could try that. Aninda Swanji Goji Tusik. Why doesn't she try it? So gojitun is the verb, try it. Sik is the negative ending for she or he. So it becomes why doesn't she? Why doesn't she try it? Anin dashwangji gojitun sik. Next one, why aren't you mad at them? Anin dashwangji nishkena masi wadwa. So it's a long ending on that one. So nishkenam is the verb, mad, be mad at him or her, feel mad at him or her. Asi wadwa is the ending for you to them. Uh, so it's a VTA verb. Aninda shwenji nishkena masi wadwa. Why aren't you mad at them? And then the last one, Aninda shwenji nishinabe motawasiwan. Nishinaabe, sorry. Why don't you talk in Anishinaabe when to me? So Anishinaabe motau is speak. Anishinaabe speak our language to him or her. Anishinaabe motau. That's the verb and it's a VTA. Aninda shwenji Anishinaabe motau is siwan. So is siwan is the negative ending. So Anita is pretty handy um, to have if you want. All of these interrogative questions are meant to give you more of an answer than just yes or no, right? So you want people to answer you more in the yes or no, this is how you do it. So you guys have any questions on those? Um, this is going to be available for a printout on the website too. So if you want to go back and revisit it, rewatch the video, right, you can do that. So we're going to play Kahoot. So on your device, you can go to kahoot.it. And I'm going to stop the share and go into the other one. Where am I? Oh, this one. Okay, so this is the game pin. First question, translate, so you put enough. You got some confident guesses there. <laughs> Translate, who is the one running? Okay. 
So Elenin Bimipadud, who is the one running? Okay, next one. Translate Ani Nishich game. Ani Nishich game. Translates to what are you doing? Awesome, everyone got that one. Okay. Next one, translate, where is she or he from? Where is she or he from? Right, so that D ending is the she or he. If you chose this one, Andi Wenjin, where are you from? Andi Wenjian, where am I from? Okay, translate Ani na pi ga budgetuin. Ani na pi ga budgetuin. So, when did you use it? Yin is the you ending. Okay, I think there's one more question. Translate, why is it red? Good one. I wasn't sure if everyone was going to get that one. <laughs> so, Miss Squaw is it is red. On English, Wangy, Miss Squawk. Why is it red? Uh, if you chose this one, on English, Wangy, Wabish Fog, why is it white? Okay, on English, Wangy, Makadewag, why is it black? On English, Wangy, Ozawag, why is it yellow? So, um, if you're wanting to review everything from today, it is online. Um, under learners, under PD, we have our conjugations. I am going to be making um, the conjugation pieces. I just ran out of time to get it done before our session today. Um, but I am going to be making those for the B form conjugations as well, so that you have them and you can print them if you've been using those. So there's a question um, from Deidre, and she's wondering if anyone else is having trouble accessing the stuff online said something about wanting to log in with a Google account, but I'm not too sure if she meant, I'm thinking she's talking about the files. On the website. So because the, fi the files are PowerPoints, I have to house them on Google Drive. I don't know why it's asking um, people to request access because they are open. Um, I think one other thing I'm going to do is save them as PDFs and upload them that way as well so you guys can see them that way and that might solve that problem. But I will, I'll do that too. I'll make a note to do that.
Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll make PDFs. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I'll talk to the website guys about it. <laughs> okay, so one more thing. Um, where are we? Okay, so Coot was fun as always. So if you have a chance to fill out our feedback form, that'd be great. Um, once you fill it out, we'll send you back a certificate. I know the ones from last week haven't come in yet. Um, I'll be doing those later this week. So let me just share the link with you. And I'll also post it in the Facebook page in case you don't um, find it here right away. So there's the link in the chat. So I know it was a short one today um, and it was a lot in a short amount of time. Um, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask us. Um, and if you need anything, don't be afraid to send us a note. I will get those PDFs up as soon as possible there so that you guys can have them. I just saw your note there too, Karen, about the PDFs. I'll, I'll print a, I'll make a printer friendly one. We can definitely do that. Okay, that's all I have for today, guys. So I hope you had a little bit of fun, learned a little bit. If you need anything, just uh, let us know. Okay, keep the love a minute in.